Good afternoon, everybody. Got a bunch of videos planned for you today. So... Uh, I gonna start with some last Claudia here. Figured I'd go over a couple more characters. Today's lineup's gonna be Still Madine and Kaito Robin. Uh, separate videos for each, along with whatever arcs are on their banners. You might get a surprise here from Still Madine. So show you, or at least the banner. But anyway, so let's get into it here. So Still Madine. Are we pronouncing that wrong? Madin? Whatever. <laughs> you see her rating there. She's an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, the rating. Strong point. Two swords cannot operate. Allowed either physical magic. Is in magic operation. Spear with intelligence. Where you want the ability open specialized entry attribute. On the easy to use feet 3. So what that's basically telling you is there's a split on the damage. Yeah, we'll get more into that later, though. So we'll look at the skills here first. So number one, Viral Wind. Pretty good knockback effect. Is uh, does the tree attribute? So same thing as wind spells, that type of thing. Skill number two, Impact Fall, continuous attack by attracting, or excuse me, with uh, basically wind attribute against the small front there. Pretty decent little AoE, I think. It has like this weird vortex thing that's actually kind of cool. There's a little bit more DC than most skills. Then we get the Judgment Will, skill 3. Continuous attack, wind element against enemies in the middle range. Actually pretty crazy, look at that knockback. And it's also launching that whole time as well, up until the end. So you guys that have that bonus damage against launched enemies, that'll be fairly good there. And then we got our ultimate, Valky League Ride. I think that's supposed to be Valkyrie. <laughs> but anyways, damage to enemies in a straight line. By reducing the enemy's defensive power with a continuous attack probability. Powerful tree attributes. Now, we're going to actually see, hopefully they're going to, when we get there, eventually detail the actual percentage of the defense down. But anyways, here, passives. Shocking Magic Bullet, attack... Magic damage plus 10% when equipped with Samurai. Samurai, not sure what that means, but maybe it's a class type is what I'm thinking. Passive, preparation of a female knight. When MP is low, MP is recovered with probability. When taking defense plus 10 damage. 10% rather damage. So that could mean a couple things, but I think the base of it is... Uh, when, the part, when she takes damage when she's low on MP... Whatever her defense is, it adds 10% to the MP recovery. Of course, that could totally be like some craziness. Can't see there. So let's see here. I want to see the impact of the defense down. Doesn't look like they have. Oh, well, moving on. So, here's the percentage chances on attack to magic damage. Oh, I think I know what that means now. That's pr that probably means that it's uh, magic damage is being added to her attack. Could be. And then Woman Knight's Preparation. Oh, here's the defense. So, it goes all the way up to 25%. So it's actually pretty good. And with that, considering it's a uh, just like a straight up skill, that's actually pretty gnarly. Anyway, so we got our skill up. As you could guess, it's all defensive stuff. So defense up, guard HP two, defense up three, guard charge. Guard charge basically means you get your cooldowns back faster. Here, guts when taking damage. Your Endure, so if you take a kill shot, you'll pretty much stay alive for a bit. Tree Critical, uh, basically makes win attribute spells crit. High boost, 30% more damage to the in spills. And then she also gets on her spell list here. You see there's Heal, Regeneration, Tornado Storm. These are all spells that you guys should know. Galaxy, Grand Cross, so she gets some holy damage in there as well, which is kind of crazy. Also, I didn't even know. I thought freaking Grand Cross was 
bolt light damage, but they're saying that's basically wind damage here, so... I guess I was wrong on that one. That's probably that, uh... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I know what I'm thinking of now. I'm thinking of that other one. Never mind. Grand Cross is the one that does, like, the big ground fissures. With the little explosion from the ground. I was thinking of the little explosion. So here's how uh, this character is described here. Described, rather, here. Aiden is a character that specializes in three attributes. Uh, both acquired skills and magic. You will be able to play an active role with a powerful tree. Just consider tree wind, guys. That's pretty good. It is. Attribute attacker because you will learn excellent skills such as tree critical and tree high boost. And grand cross is basically the tier 3 spell. Madden boasts the highest defense after Lanceville and Golm. I've seen Lanceville's kit. I'm not sure about Golm yet. Oh, let's see. Your man's personality, shocking magic bullet. Personality, guys, once again, is passive. Increases attack magic damage when equipped with a spear, so it can be used not only as a physical attack, but also as an excellent magic attacker that is difficult to defeat. Oh, okay, so that's what makes it. So there you go. Speculation earlier was wrong. My speculation. Excellent support for special skills. Madden's special skills are very good in terms of support. Spiral Wind can push out enemies and Impact Fall can collect enemies. Yeah, that did actually look pretty good. I pointed that out. Judgment Will can be launched after collecting enemies and damage can be raised with skills such as Sky High. Sky, once again, boosts the damage uh, done to enemies in the air. He's, um... Comments here. Unlike Elisa or Baba, it is highly appreciated at cute time, like motivation. <laughs> uh, the Conjurer is an Advent God. It can strengthen intelligence and magic attacks with various elements, and is more durable than a poor tank character. <laughs> it can play a role. <laughs> See Lanceville for poor tank character. It can play a role with minimum self-learning and can be balanced physical feats with specialty skills and durability. By the end of training, the end of the SSR arc reward access, high durability and high caliber armor, etc. can be seen. If you don't acquire them one by one, your magic bullets and skills will rot. So I think, we'll look at the arcs in a second, but I think he's basically saying if you don't have those skills, not quite as useful. And then last comment we'll read here. Uh, Evolution as a physical attacker, the daughter of Night Damon. This is daughter of Night Damon. High attack power, special skills, super kills. But for special one, it has a launch effect, so it attracts enemies. Uh, attract enemies with special skill run, which is compatible with Sky High and Wipeout with special skills two and three. It's nice to move. Weak point. Since it takes a long time for activating the special skill to damaging, the fact that the special skill ends up in the attack was received during the time is often unsuccessful. So basically the combos are unsuccessful oftentimes. This is where the guard change comes in. However, since the guard rate is off, the ally is annihilated while waiting for the guard and the special skill to naturally accumulate. Mind is too low. The gut specifications are not good. I think that's passives. When HP reaches zero, it is instantly revived on the spot, so you die to end the opponent's magic. Resurrection. The magic continues and you die again. <laughs> I guess I get that one now, yeah. Uh, that's, I gr I gr I'll grow with love. Alright, so basically, looks like a pretty good uh, overall kind of tanky DPS, but with hybrid damage. Some pretty good stuff there. Now, we're going to be checking because... Let me look here. She gets an SSR art called The Final Oath, and believe it or not, guys, Moonlit Murder, that one art that we just got early, it is also on her tree as the R arc. So we actually got a little present there, which... A lot of people on the Reddit didn't notice or didn't care to uh, explain to people. We got early present with Moonlit Murder uh, on the current Secret of Mana Better. So there's something that the devs did for us, guys. I've seen a lot of people being like, the devs didn't do this. They didn't treat us exactly like Japan. And... <laughs> We're our own economy, guys. Anyways, more on that later. All right, let's look at this skill. Or excuse me, this arc here. Now it says End of Life Evaluation. But on the screen, it actually calls this Final Oath. So just consider it Final Oath is what I'm going to say. And here's the evaluation of this arc. It is a 7 out of 10. 
skills and characteristics. She uses blue stoles. Active when equipped with... When equipped with... Hmm, it didn't translate whatever that is, but some type of damage is caused by decreasing defense and mind with probability. Arc Ether Reward, Tree Baton, Riffia. Strength plus 155, Defense 54, Intelligence 85. Attribute increases the power of tree attributes by 20%. Clearly would be a pretty good weapon for her. Is there, it's a spear as well. And then, at least it looks like a spear. I'm assuming it's a spear because she gets more passive or something from the spear attacks. Alright, so here are the skills here. Go ahead, we'll just go to what they do. Glory pose. SC, uh, skill cooldowns recover slightly when enemies kill. Iron wall guard activates only when equipped with guards. Increases damage reduction rate while guarding. Guard charge. Cooldowns recover a little while guarding. Uh, spear equip. That must be what it is. So that was spear up here when equipped with a spear. Uh, spear equip. Can equip a spear. Grant protection. Reduces physical damage taken by allies by 20%. Oh, okay, that's the active skill. I thought that was a passive for a second. I was about to be like, oh. <laughs> Three high boost, 30% more damage to the wind attribute spells. That's what we get from that. Now, right here we got the upgrade. So it says when equipped with a spear at level 1, damage is caused by decreasing defense and mind with probability. Eventually... At level 5, MP minus 1, magic consumption, the other effect. And then at level 10, when equipped with wood, basically when the magic attribute of the tree of beauty causes damage by lowering defense and mine with probability, automatically activates Stonewall at the start. Okay, Stonewall. I think if that one is the one that uh, it instantly absorbs a spell or if that's just the overall damage reduction. I guess it depends on the translation. But either way, somehow it's helping you stay alive. And then here we go here. So, compatibility with tree attribute magic. The end of life foul can reduce MP consumption at level 5 or higher. You also learn high boost that increases the power of the magic. And arc ether, ether reward is super powerful. The end of life arc, or as we call it, or oh, whatever. Uh, Jihu Luffy is a powerful bat. <laughs> bat. Strength plus 50, 155 with high performance. Furthermore, it can increase the power of free attribute attacks by 20, so comparable with characters who can learn that. You have it there. Assumption, it's always going to be blue, guys. And let's see if there's any comments here. Now that you can easily annihilate the enemy with physical characters, this arc that memorizes the glorious pose can be said to be the physical version of honor pose that supports fuel economy. But it cannot be said that when lined up with Megarona, Megarona's coming with Aliza, guys. I think we went through that in another video. Usan. But it becomes the next essential physics arc. That's why glory pose is SSR. Can't tell if he's trolling or not. Unique has a good point of view that you get mod in special equipment that you can grow without permission. Personally, the rating is below viewer gorge. Now, although the evaluation is decoration, this is not the same. Okay, so. Lots of strange comments. Now, Moonlit Murder, that is something that is out right now. Uh, if you don't have that, or if you haven't checked it out, that's what this one is. Basically, Moonlit Murder is actually pretty good for... Uh, physical damage. I'm not gonna go hardcore into it because you can look at it yourself in the shop. If you don't know that you can get Moonlit Murder, guys, uh, if when you pull 50 times on the current Secret of Mana banner, assuming you're watching this, then eight days of when I make this video, uh, it's in one of the shops that's in the special event shop. You can just go snatch it up right now for 50 if you're pulling fairly hard. And it's pretty good, pretty good. It has a couple things. We'll get into it. Real quick here, so the Arc Aether, it is defense plus 78, mind plus uh, 43, increases move speed and avoid physical attacks with probability. If this is actually the one I meant to. Well, let's see what the skills are. We'll
Oh yeah, this is. Although they, uh, that's funny, they mistranslated here too. That's hilarious. Okay, so special boost at the end, you guys can see. You see how it says increases attack power by 50%? That is actually increases 50% damage to killers. So someone like, especially uh, uh, Randy, basically gets all the killers for free except God Killer. Special boost turns him into a freaking monster. And then, yeah, all the rest of this stuff is the same, including Backlash, which is increased damage by 30% when physically attacking from behind. Does stack with, what is it called, Surprise Attack? I forget, but the one that's 50%. So you can be doing bonus of 80% damage from behind if you have both of these equipped. Surprise Attack, I think. And everything else is decent, but you can get crit up too from another arc. But if you happen to don't have it, it's always here. And... So yeah, this one's pretty cool. And then physical damage to enemies that are that in the dark means they have the dark debuff. Um, there's plenty of like, you know, you can get that uh, dark research or whatever skill. There's a couple skills that help you put dark on enemies. And that level four immediately kill a stunned enemy with a physical damage plus thirty percent damage to dark enemies. That doesn't work on bosses or. Uh, not sure if that's a probability because it doesn't really say it here. So if you can just straight up kill a stunned enemy. That's probably why they call it Moonlit Murder, huh? <laughs> like at the dark. It's pretty hilarious. And then level 8. Physical damage plus 43% to enemy in the darkness state. Instant build. Uh, immediately break with probability at the time of physical attack. So you have a chance to just straight up break people at level 8. Actually a pretty crazy arc here. Considering it's an R arc. So... And yeah, like I'm saying, further increase the power of Killer and Slayer. Right here, break with probability during physical attack. Uchikichika Sword is level 8 or higher, learns the characteristics of breaking with probability. During a break, the damage to the boss increases, and you can't act for a certain amount of time. I wonder if that means your own character can't act for Weird. Well, let's see here. See if there's any good comments. Apparently not. <laughs> so there you have it on this banner, guys. Now, uh, I have actually prepared for you guys a video of the hero in question here. Cool. Let's get to it. Alright, let's just check out all this now. Nice. Got the translation for real. You're a dancing girl. Yayo,前に突き出すようにそういう相撲者にもなりまして、まあ、ちょっと鍛えづらいっていう印象が ありますね。あの、やりをこう後ろに引いて貯める動作っていうのが結構長くてですね。その間に敵に攻撃されて、あの、スパイラルウィンドウ自体がキャンセルされてしまうという。ランスレーション。ありますので、これはちょっと
or create another effect that could balance them. That's crazy. ま、スキルの関数みたいな効果。ロートマン。攻撃の仕方木だけ敵の防御力を低下させるみたいな。そう、スキルです。あ、ヨニキの方は約170ほどですね。ちょっと分かりにくいので、もう一度一度一度。はい。え、魔法の差が約170ほどあるにも関わらずですね、え、両者とも280から290度ぐらいのダメージを叩き出せていることが分かります。